With a little dexterity, you can test your neck relief to pinpoint accuracy with nothing but a capo and a digital action gauge. Capo the first fret, then flip the guitar into the playing position. With your fretting hand, hold the low string down where the neck joins the body. In this case, the 17th fret. Then place the gauge over the 7th fret with your picking hand. Let the probe fall onto the string, zero the gauge, then press the string down with the probe to get your measurement. Doing this with one hand is a little tricky, but you'll get the hang of it after a while. Not zeroing the gauge is also an option. Just note how many thousands it changes when pressing the string down to the top of the fret. You can also measure the relief on each individual string with this method, which will expose differences in relief on either side of the neck. This may require specialized tools or procedures to get the guitar playing great again. For a little more money, a neck relief gauge is a lot easier to use. This one is from G-Tech Guitar Works. Zero it out on a flat surface, then with the guitar in the playing position, hold it on the 1st and 17th frets with the probe on the 7th fret. Press it down to get your reading. This can also be used between each string pair to expose twists in the neck, as shown earlier. The convenience is great, but it's hard to justify the cost if you're not regularly working on a lot of different guitars. It always helps to have a number attached to your preferences so you're not guessing while you work. So give these techniques a try and take your neck relief measurements to the next level of accuracy. And if you know anyone else interested in all things guitar, send them over here to GuitarMD.